Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community and all of our friends. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to continue our series, The Lives of the Saints. And on this, the 11th of February, we commemorate the memory of the Holy Empress Theodora, who, is, who restored Orthodoxy. Saint Theodora came from a distinguished family, long resident in Constantinople, whose members had attained high office in the public service. She was blessed with great beauty and high intelligence and had also inherited the fervent piety and unshakable devotion to the Orthodox faith of her mother, Theoktista. On, behalf, on being chosen from among young, the young daughters of the nobility to become the wife of Emperor Theophilus, she faithfully fulfilled her duties as wife and empress while doing all the, the, all that gentleness and patience w- could accomplish to mitigate the cruelty of Theophilus when he revived persecutions of holy icons with unheard of ferocity. While the confessors of orthodoxy, the holiest of people of the time, were being harassed, tortured, and exiled to the furthest bounds of the empire, Theodora remained staunch in true faith and secretly venerated the holy icons, which were hidden in her bedchamber. One day, a court jester surprised her as she was kissing her icons and went off to tell the emperor, who summoned her to his presence in great anger. However, she skillfully circumvented the jester's allegations and persisted in offering discreet support of the confessors of faith, notwithstanding at her husband's prohibition. She often went with her five daughters to visit her mother, Theoktista, who had become a nun in the monastery she had founded and who was open was an open and fearless critic of Theophilus's impious policy and of his ruthless persecution of the Orthodox. After 12 years, Theophilus was stricken by God with severe dysentery. In her distress and compassion on seeing her husband delirious and racked with pain, Theodora brought out a hidden icon of the mother of God and placed it on the sick man's face. Coming to himself for a moment after terrifying vision, Theophilus kissed the holy icon and confessed the true faith before giving back his soul to God. Since the heir of the throne, Michael III, was only four years old, Theodora assumed the regency. She relied on the wise counsels of the Logothente Theoctistus and took in hand the immediate restoration of the holy icons and the recall of the confessors of orthodoxy from exile. In March of 843, she summoned a council which deposed the heretical patriarch John VII, the author of so many woes, and raised up St. Methodius, the confessor, to the patriarchal throne. After anathematizing the heretics and confirming the decrees of the Seventh Ecumenical Council of 787, the Holy Fathers assembled on the first Sunday of Lent in 843, with all the confessors, priests, and monks who had come from the far corners of the empire bearing on their bodies the still bloody marks of their confession of the true faith, in long procession which wound its way through the city, watched by all the people, they inaugurated the official restoration of the veneration of the holy icons. The feast has been celebrated annually ever since on the first Sunday in Lent and has become the symbol of the triumph of orthodoxy over the heresies. With the peace of the church restored, Theodora showed remarkable talent for government, especially in economic fields. The evangelization of Moravia Moravia and Bulgaria by missionaries from the Byzantine Empire resulted from her initiative. But despite the care she took of the education of Michael III, he requited requited her with ingratitude. Her brother, Bardas, an able man of a moral life, who had come to power thanks to Theodora, exerted a baleful influence on the emperor. He persuaded him to terminate the regency, even though he was not yet of age, and obliged Theodora and her daughters to retire to the monastery of Gastria, even though the patriarch Ignatius refused to taunture them. Submissive to the decrees of providence, Theodora devoted herself from then on to fasting, prayer, and to all of the observances of the angelic life. She gave back her soul to God on the 11th of February, 867. At the fall of Constantinople, her relics 
which remained incorrupt were taken to Corfu together with those of St. Spiridon. Enshrined in the cathedral, they are miraculously preserved from destruction in the bombardment during the Second World War, and they remain an unfailing source of blessings for the faithful. By the prayers of St. Theodora the Empress, the restorer of orthodoxy, may the Lord God have mercy on us and save us. God bless you. We are here for you. We love you. Don't hesitate to reach out. Call us, email us, leave us a note in the comment section. Send us a message on social media. If you'd like to support this ministry, remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Again, God bless you and have a beautiful rest of your day.